Hey. All right, we're here. Let's head to the hardware store. Salvage run only to find the gunners here instead of me. Why they just run away? How does that sound? We can't let the gunners hurt these people. Come on, got his son. Be fun. I can show you the ropes. Have any ideas? I don't know. I know you need whatever we decide. We should do it fast. Just kill them and be done with it. I guess you're right. I doubt they'd be willing to just leave. Okay, hey, hey, moats for brains. You better leave these people alone! What? Everybody run! Take cover! Prepare to eat laser gunner scum! Beautiful. Folks must have come back from the salvage run only to find the gunners here instead of me. Why'd they just run away? How does that sound? We can't let the gunners hurt these people. Let's try to keep this civil. You're right. I know you need Maybe we can get these guys to leave without any bloodshed. No matter how good a time we might have together. Hey, hey, keep your voice down. Don't be embarrassed. Hold it. We aren't expecting reinforcements. Who are you? And what are you doing here? What are you guys doing out here? Gunner business. I'm reporting in. As ordered. <sighs> if they're sending mercs for backup, I'd wish they'd at least radio ahead. I was getting ready to shoot you guys. So what is it? Anything to report? Not much. We secured the place as ordered, and we got a technician trying to restore the power. That's about it. Time to hit the road. Thank God. It's about time someone relieved us. Okay, we'll head out right away. Oh yeah, there's another squad in the service tunnels below. You should head down there, let them know we're pulling out. I do it myself, but, you know, really stinks down there. Huh, I didn't think that would work. Come on, let's head inside the hardware store. <clears throat> Ugh, they really wrecked the place. Power's out too. Oh, come on! What's wrong? The vault hub! Why the hell did they do that to it? Oh, and I thought raiders were bad. And... Yep, terminal's shot to hell. Oh, I bet it was that big guy that did it. Berman. Ooh, if I ever get my hands on him. Now what? Now? <laughs> now I don't know. Hey, the lights are flickering. Someone's trying to get the power back on. Must be that squad the gunner mentioned. Looks like they're messing with the plutonium well. All right, let's head down into the service tunnels. Deal with the remaining gunners. I can worry about cleaning this place up later. Hang on. I'm just gonna grab another weapon. This thing weighs a ton. And doubt I'll have enough room to use it down there. Okay, let's go. Gunners ahead. Doesn't look like the world is job, team. Much 
show a girl a good time. You, I can't fix anything else until I get the power back on. I recognize that voice. Lupe? Jacob? What, what are you doing here? That's a rich question coming from you. I thought you'd been killed in the Quincy Massacre. What's with the gunner uniform? You know each other? Yeah, I guess you could say we're all old friends. But I thought you were killed when the gunners attacked Quincy. Want to fill me in? Um, well, I kind of joined the Gunners. Well, actually, not so much joined as forcibly conscripted at gunpoint. But hey, I guess that answers that. I'm sorry if any of those Gunners we just took down were friends of yours. What are you doing now? I'm messing around with the controller now. Because it was broken. I'm a gunner technician now, so fixing things kind of goes along with the job. Technician? Say, that boss you mentioned, he wouldn't happen to be called Algernon, would he? Yeah, that's him. You've met him? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? Oh, sure. I'm Lupe, private ring technician. I build things. Or fix them, or make stuff work better. I'm pretty good at all three. I think that's why the Gunners conscripted me, and why Captain Algernon put me under his command. He needed someone to maintain his armor. So, um, you know the Captain? I briefly met him, but we didn't talk for long. It's a long story, but I guess we're sort of allies now, or something. Man, that's weird to say. Actually, he gave us some orders to pass on, if we found a technician here, which I suppose will be you. So, um, here. Huh. It says... I'm free to operate under my own discretion. As long as I help you, I've been given a leave of absence. Hmm. Neat. Well, now, that's great. We need all the help we can get. And it'd be good to have another skilled tech around. Welcome aboard. Can we move this along? I've got places to be. Oh, um, sorry. Well, with that, I'd say we've secured Concord. Maybe it would be smart to build some defenses. You know, in case the gunners come back. Oh, I can help with that. Sure thing. Hey, I can show you how to do it using ASAMs. You mean those sensor things? You actually got them working? Huh. I gotta check this out. As good a plan as any. For now, I guess we'll just have to secure things as best we can and wait to hear back from Algernon. Assuming he really is on our side, hopefully we won't have to wait long. I'll also check in with our settlements. Without the hub, I'll have to do things the old-fashioned way. I'll be relying on my ham radio and a big old notepad for a while. But it's better than nothing. All right, time to get to work. Stay safe out there. And thanks again for coming to get me. You're a real friend. I think we're the first people to set foot here in quite a while. Hey! Hey, you're 
never gonna guess what I just got running. The com hub! You hear that? That's the sound of the Commonwealth suit. You kind of see this thing in action, but seems the comm up decided to explode will be a better use of its time. He says you should still head on back. Fill me in on how things went with those folks. By the time you arrive, I should have the hub up and running again. Just need to replace those damn tubes. Calculating ten percent. That's enough out of you. Hey there. Excuse me. I got a letter for Supposed you. Supposed to deliver. Your hands only. From who? Some old guy. Sorry, didn't catch the name. Thanks, I guess. Oh, you're welcome. You have a nice day now. Here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Wait, what? Hi. Hi. Hi again. You want to talk? Tell me about yourself. I... Um, I don't really know what to say. Um, I'm Lupe, but you already know that. Um, oh, I build stuff. I'm real good at that. My dad used to say I could build a gun out of a radio. Or a radio out of a shoe. <laughs> Although I can't. Well, I guess now I live here. I help Jacob and you. I like it. It's fun and safe. Relatively speaking. What do you know about him? Jacob? We're old friends. He used to come to my repair shop all the time. But after the gunners took Quincy and recruited me, I thought I'd never see him again. I had no idea Jacob was in Concord, or that Algernon was sending our squad to his workshop. You see, I was kind of... on the team that kidnapped Jacob. I didn't know it was him, but still, I feel pretty bad about it. We've already been over that, and I told you, you don't need to apologize. You couldn't have known. And for the last time, would you call me Jake? I should have never told you Jake was short for Jacob. Anything else you'd like to know? So what do you do here? Mostly I help build with whatever Jacob thinks we need. He's pretty good at building stuff, but I'm better. You may think I'd take exception to that, but she's right. Girls are natural. Makes me feel ashamed to pick up a screwdriver. Oh, I didn't mean... You're still really good at... Uh, lots of stuff. Lupe, I'm good at plenty. Put a toaster in front of me, I'll get that thing singing show tunes. But when it comes to making something from scratch, you're the man for the job. Anything else you'd like to know? Not now. Let's talk later. This is Captain West of the Gunners. This settlement is now under our jurisdiction. You are warned to not resist. The pressure towards gunner forces will not be tolerated. Submit to our authority. No harm will come. Huh? A new beginning for the cover. Mm. It's near. Bravo!
damn leg. Oh, hey. So what happened? That settlement, is everything all right? I had some trouble. Um, that settlement you sent me to. Let me guess. The gunners captured it. I knew it. Did you manage to deal with them? Everything's taken care of. Oh, good. But I get the feeling this ain't the last we're gonna hear from them. We can't keep letting the gunners use the comm hub like this. But we got no idea where they've stashed it. I suppose for now we'll just have to stay on high alert. Oh, and good work at that settlement. And I hope you realize just how much I appreciate everything you do. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. <clears throat> Hi, if you're looking for Jacob, I think he's at the old church across the road. How's he doing? I don't know. He doesn't seem as... chipper as he used to be. Maybe I'm just misremembering. It has been a while since we last saw each other. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Oh, hey, darling. Tell me, you ever used to come to places like this? You know, before you were frozen? Yeah, plenty of times. Hmm. I can understand why. It's kind of nice. Almost peaceful. Although, it does feel kind of weird still. You're starting to worry me. <laughs> it's all right. Just doing a little introspection is all. Say, you recall way back when you came to my hardware store, asking what else ASAMs could do? I asked you a question in return. Why you were doing all this? ASAMs, settlements, the whole thing. Do you remember what you told me? Help people. That's right. I didn't know if you really meant that. And honestly, I didn't care. All I saw before me was someone useful. Someone who could help me towards my goals. Someone I could use. If you have something to say, I'm listening. Despite what some might think, I'm no good at two-shoes. Oh, sure, I'll go on and on about rebuilding the Commonwealth, bringing back civilization, but those are just means to an end. All this, everything I've done, it's all been in the effort to bring my daughter back to me. That's all I really cared about. But then, I met you. And suddenly, my actions were making a real difference in people's lives. Good and bad. And now, with everything that's going on, the gunner attacks, losing the comm hub, I'm not so sure anymore. I never realized you'd lost hope like that. I don't think I'm quite at that stage just yet, but I may be close. Look, I'm trying, darling. I really am. But this is more than I signed up for. I never expected to be taking on someone like the Gunners. I don't know if I have it in me to do this. I'm no savior of the Commonwealth. I'm not you. If it makes you feel better, I believe in you. Actually? Yeah, <laughs> a little. I'm sorry. You didn't come all the way here just to hear me bellyache. <laughs> What's up? 
You need my help with something? Listen. Uh huh. That's that's a lot of interference. I wonder what's causing it. If you need me to clean up that signal, I reckon I can get it done. Follow me. From what I've seen. Okay, short stuff. I could take over again now. Thanks for watching the radio. Hey, I'm not that short. And are you sure? I can keep going for a few more hours. Yeah, it's all right. I got something I need to do anyway. So, shift that pint-sized keister of yours. Okay, if you say so. But if you keep it up with all this short stuff, I'll find a footstool so I can bop you on the nose. All right, let's find that radio signal. Okay, gonna try switching the receiver from amplitude to frequency. Signal might be weaker, but should have less interference. All right, think we got something. It's me, Aiden. I got news. Believe it or not, Algernon came through for us. We've been shadowing a squad of gunners. We think they may know where the comm hub is. But this gunner squad, they've been acting kinda odd, on edge. Like they're getting ready for something. Come meet us at Chestnut Hillock Reservoir. Don't be long. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Well, how about that? Maybe Aiden is on our side after all. <laughs> you sound troubled. Let's just say I'm not sure how much I trust our new friend just yet. But it does sound like he's onto something with the hub. Maybe you should go check in with him, see what he's found. Just don't get your hopes up, all right? For all we know, his lead might be a dud. Or he's just messing with us. You never tell with a guy like him. Hey. time the gunners the squad we were following they were stragglers from a strike team they're trying to take this vault the leader already made it inside he's the one we think has the com hub intel we'll make sure no more gunners get past you get in there and get that intel your vault tech maintenance representative immediately. Hold your fire! They're friendly. Please, you must help us. The vault is being besieged by wasteland mercenaries. Too bad you couldn't defend yourselves. We tried to stop them, but there were just too many. I don't know how they did it, but they forced the vault door open. 
Before our security forces could even react, five whole groups made it down to the lower levels. I need to get down there, but I can't take any of the vault security. They're all needed here to defend the entrance. Could you... Could you come with me? Please? I... I can't do this alone. Uh... Yeah, I guess. I know I'm asking a lot from someone who doesn't live here. Thank you for helping. Uh, follow me. I'll open the elevator for you. Up there, look! In the Overseer's office. We have to save her. Stop right there! Possible breach of vault security detected. All vault residents report to designated safe zones. doing here haven't you killed enough gunners do we know each other avoid at all costs that's what the higher ups said about you you hold second place for most gunners killed by hostile until recently we didn't even know what you looked like you never left enough of us alive to give a clear report you know who i am so tell me what are you doing here i'm just doing my job like any other gunner look before you get all trigger happy, the only people we killed here were those who shot us first. We're just following orders from Captain Wes, okay? What exactly is your mission here? Breach and secure, pacify the residents, get them to cooperate if we could. We're not raiders. Most of us try to avoid slaughter. If our orders allow it. Why all this effort? I don't really know. Wes seems to think there was something important here. Some kind of lost tech or something? Valuable old world stuff. He had his eye on this vault for months. What you've done here is inexcusable. And you will answer for it. Okay, sure. I get that. But maybe we could... come to some sort of arrangement or something. <laughs> An arrangement? With a gunner? What could possibly go wrong? Entrance is secure. Vault security can take it from here. Oh, God. You're Aiden McTavish, aren't you? You're here as well? Captain Algernon, too? What? Shut up. I'll make this real simple. Recently, the gunners stole a ComHub computer. If you want to leave this place alive, you're gonna tell us everything you know about it. What? Look, I don't know nothing about that. We just meant to secure the vault, that's it? No one said anything about a pub computer. I believe you, but I still need answers. I'm sorry, but we don't know nothing about no hubs. Look, I don't want to fucking fight you. You've won here, all right? We'll leave. Anything else I should know? If there was anything else I'd tell you, believe me. I don't want to mess with the likes of you. I ain't got no death wish. Oh, uh, but wait, uh, there was something. We did have a prior mission, but it had to be scrubbed. We were meant to meet with Commander Berman. Commander? Sounds like somebody was promoted. If men like Berman are now leading squads. The gunners may be further gone than I thought. He needed help moving something, sir. Something big. But my squad got delayed before we could meet up. And the attack on this vault couldn't wait. Something big, huh? How much you wanna bet that's the com hub? This Berman. You got a way to contact him? Uh, yeah. This radio. 
I was meant to call him when we were done here. Hand it over. On the desk. Now. Sure. Take it. It's yours. So, me and my men... We can go now, right? Where will you go? I don't know. I guess we'd be deserters. We'd have to lay low, or we'll risk enforcement squad coming after us. Get out of here and don't come back. We will. You won't see me or my troops again. I don't know what the fuck Wes's plans are, but we want no more part of them. Let's try this radio. See if we can't gather some more intel. Try turning it on. Sarge, about time you lazy ass radioed in. What the hell kept you? Had to move everything myself. Now, whatever. You finished at that vault now? You got any spare men left? Bring them with you. Could use the extra cannon fodder. Lost a few of mine attacking a settlement. Ungrateful pissants actually fought back. You believe that? Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, who, who is that? What are you doing with a gunner radio? That's Berman, the one who took your comm hub to Wes. You should talk to him. Berman, this is Captain Algernon. Let's not waste time. You know my opinion on the gunners. Everything we're doing. It's wrong. It's only gonna hurt us in the long run, and the Commonwealth will be no better. But you can still do the right thing. Help us. Tell me where the hub is. We can still stop all this before it goes too far. <laughs> oh, jeez. You always were a blowhard, old man. But I never thought you were this fucking delusional. Hey, that voice I heard before. That was that vault dweller chump, right? The, um, whole survivor, or whatever. And put him back on the radio. I want to talk to them. It's me. Yeah, you're the partner of the guy we nabbed, right? Building settlements and stuff? <laughs> I gotta thank you. There's just so many new towns and outposts. All make good vassals for the gunners. <laughs> Might take a while to capture them all, but you know, with your hub computer hooked into our comms, it's only a matter of time. Oh, and don't even think about trying to get it back. The place I just moved into ain't nowhere we got that's more secure. You'd need an armed militia to even set foot inside. <laughs> I'm tired of this conversation. What? You think you're too good for me or something? You talk real big, but I know you ain't so tough. And your little settlements, they ain't so tough either. In fact, I just came from one of them. Even took me a little souvenir. Some old guy mouthed off at me. Said I couldn't shoot straight. So I figure, hey, he must be volunteering his body for a little target practice. <laughs> and maybe you know him. Hey, take that old kook's gag off. Let him talk. Uh, uh, Concern it, get off me. And while you're at it, unbind my hands. Or are you boys afraid of an old scabber? Oh. Was gonna take my time on this guy, you know, teach him a lesson. Uh, but whatever. Hey, you! Hey! Look at me when I'm talking to you. Quit your hollering. And stop waving that gun around. With an aim as bad as yours, you probably end up shooting your own foot. Shut it! You're gonna serve as an example. Show what happens when someone stands against the gunners. Any last words? Oh, I got plenty of words. But most have too many syllables for the likes of you to understand. How about witless troglodyte? Or ham-fisted reprobate? Here's one you might comprehend. 
Lousy shot! <laughs> How's my aim now? Wasteland trash. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> What's wrong? Where's all that bravado now, huh? I'm done talking. Still got a lot of work to do. And you keep out of our way, or you will regret it. Damn that Berman. He's the embodiment of everything wrong with the Gunners. That guy he shot. Someone you knew? He was my friend. I... know what it's like to lose someone. I'm sorry. In spite of what happened, that radio call may have been just what we needed. Unwittingly, Berman let slip exactly where he's moved your comm hub to. He always was a loudmouth. Yeah, I heard it as well. Ain't nowhere we got that's more secure. That describes only one gunner-controlled location I know of. Exactly. Only place he could have been talking about. The Gunner's Plaza. Our main base of operations. Good to see you. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Hold on. It's not that simple. That Gunner, Berman, he wasn't lying about needing an armed militia to get inside the Gunner's Plaza. Aiden's right. The plaza's one of the most secure places in the Commonwealth. Automated turrets, minefields, even a vertibird fixed up with missiles. If you want to get your comm hub back, we're going to need a plan. Have any suggestions? The plaza is so heavily fortified that no one's tried to attack it in years. Ironically, I think that makes attacking our best option. Most of the men stationed there have never had to fend off a serious enemy incursion. If we attack, not only would we have the element of surprise, but their troops' lack of experience would give us a serious advantage. I say we assault the plaza, get inside, neutralize any gunners loyal to Wes, then find your hub. Before committing to anything, you should run this by Jake. I'm sure he'll have an opinion to share. In the meantime, I'll start preparations for an assault. Works for me. Good luck. We know where your hub is. Now it's just a matter of taking it back. see you again. How's your partner? He recovered from the whole kidnapping thing? Aiden said he's tougher than he looks, that he'd bounce back in no time. How are things going? Not as I expected, I'll say that much. When I left to try and find out where your hub might be, it didn't take long for Aiden to reveal himself. Apparently, he didn't trust me to honor my word. So, I invited him to join me. Have a search for leads on your hub together. Surprisingly, he accepted. He's fine. He is? I'm glad. When I sent my men to retrieve Evans, I gave precise instructions not to harm him. But I should have known Berman would disobey my orders. And I should have never trusted him to bring back your comm hub. I... I wanted to stop Wes from getting his hands on it. Instead... My actions delivered your hub right to him. So, what's the deal with you two anyway? What? Me and Aiden? Eh, as it turns out, we actually work fairly well together. He's good at gathering intel, and not too bad at tactical planning. To be honest, I didn't expect him to be so willing for us to travel together. Don't get me wrong, I still catch him looking over his shoulder now and again. 
and I'd be lying if I said I didn't do the same. But for the time being, we have the same goal. So, I think we can put our differences aside. I should get going. Right. See you later. <laughs>